Last time I was at this location, one of the monster-sized tree branches fell and almost crushed my son. Let's walk down to the beautiful lake. Today, me, my lovely wife, which has a injured back, she's walking with one of my old canes, and Kit are down here at Gladys Russell. We're going to walk a little bit. I'm not so sure how far Ann should walk, but I'm thinking Kit and I should do a little bit. I've been to a lot of places in my life. And ever since Angie and I started the hiking and the fishing adventures, nothing seems to ever set more prettier with me than this lake right here. Oh, words do not have meaning. <laughs> I said that backwards. We fished right here off this deck quite a few times. Oh, yeah. And Mr. Kid here. Is being brand spanking new again, isn't ya? Isn't ya? Yeah, you is. There isn't a subject matter for this video. No. I'm just out and about to show some beauty. I'm not adding music to this one, but that music is coming. Now you take Angie right behind me yonder there. She's got her back, and this is she's her back has been sore before, but this is the first time her ever throwing it out. Me, I threw my back out at least twice a year. Last year, three times. I am a, um, <laughs> it's a given for me. Doing what you do best, taking pictures. So my job lately has been taking care of her and trying to help her out every which way I can. And she just started using the cane. Was that today or yesterday? I can't remember. Today. Today. Okay, First you ready? Time being out. Okay, well, we're ready to go up that little hill. If you need help, I'll help you up there, okay? You're fine. You sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Need help getting up? No. All right. Hey, would you like to walk, Kit? He'll pull you. Yeah, no. Okay. The funny thing about the cane thing is, out of all the times I've ever pulled my back out, and that's usually twice a year, and this past year was three times, I never used the cane except the last time I pulled my back out. And... <laughs> It helped out tremendously. Why I never thought of using a cane all the other times is beyond me. So, yeah, I think it was, well, she said it was today. I mentioned to her, I was like, why don't you use my old cane? It'll help. You making it, hon? Yeah. You hold on my arm, I pull you up. I'm fine, dear. Okay, okay, okay. You Move your ass in. Come on. <laughs> Race to the I'm gonna car. get hit in the head with the cane. What? Race to the car. Hey, let's do it. I'm wondering how many people that's never been here before come down to see the beautiful lake and notice the sign restroom behind the metal barn, and then they be like, Metal barn? Where is it? I don't see no metal barn. Do you? And the funny thing about it is, the barn is wood. At one time it might have been metal, but it's not metal now. It's wood, and it's up that way. All right, I just did a video clip. Only I'm not going to be able to use it because uh, Kit pulled me over to the side. There was something on the ground he was smelling. And yeah, see there's another couple down here with a dog, and that dog left a landmine. Can't prove it was them, but that was freshly... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could have been, been any dog this place here is loaded with dogs y'all it is loaded i've told the story before uh we hiked all all over through yonder there behind me you see that for for we're talking for as far as you can see is all nothing but woods the only problem about hiking here and i mentioned this before is the the trails don't have really good markers they're all outdated Unless you go with somebody like Compass there. Well, one her back is better. Uh, she knows the woods very well. But anyway, what was that? See, I got off the subject now. I forgot what I was going to say. I remember now. Oh, I shouldn't get off the subject. But one of the times we came up here hiking, before we got on the trail, we ran across the dog. 
And when we got on the trail, we're talking deep in the trail. Another dog came out of nowhere. And then on the way back out of the trail on the other side, which I was going to go over there today, but i tell you why I'm not in a minute. Another dog. Yeah. We couldn't bring Stormy up here a lot. And I'm sad for that, too, because of other dogs being off their leash. I really do not know what would have happened if another dog came face to face with Stormy. They might have been best friends, or it might have been a fight. And the reason I'm not going any further is because my wife wants to be a little bit active on her feet right now, because that will help her back too. And damn it to hell, I'd rather be near my wife, you know? I don't want her sitting out here waiting on me and Kit to get back the next hour. But when we was at the uh, tree trail, you waited, didn't you? Yep. I couldn't do that one. I know. I'm sorry. I played my game. <coughs> He's just a sniffing and sniffing. We was at this part the last time. Well, one other time we came up here, we was right about here. And my son Justin was over there at that tree. And we heard a... <coughs> That's when that big branch fell and almost hit him. Okay, Angie's headed towards the car. We're gonna walk out here a little bit with Kit. But every so often, you know, just get out. It doesn't matter if you put miles in. Just get out every now and then and enjoy nature. I never feel more alive than I do when I'm near nature. Nature could be the woods, river, creek, dam, lake. As long as I'm out of that damn city. Where I live, it's city, but no more than a block down the road from Nair's country. I know. <laughs> when I was buying, buying my house, I should have bought it in the country. Brought, blah, blah, bought it in the country. We used to live in the country many years ago. Oh, the ground is super soft out here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> One more shot of nature, then we better close her out. Soon as Angie, as soon as her back gets better, we're going to take a trip right on down in through there, guys. My leg's able to handle long hikes now. Kit's ready to go. You know, he's pretty much almost fully healed. Almost. She's got to let her get healed. So I guess in a way, today's video, it could be about my wife. My wife. You hear what I called her? My wife. My wife sends her back. Yeah. She's never actually thrown it like that before. Mm -mm. And I fear when her falling off the bed the other night, I didn't mention that in my videos, but that might have been what did it. All right, guys. Till next time. Thanks for watching. And come on, kids. Go around this way. And we'll catch you next time. Come on. Let's get out of here.